How to pass the PLE, your average medical student edition. This is based off of my experience and what I believed helped me get through the PLE season. So number one is to make a schedule and to have your review materials ready. Having a schedule and having everything laid out in front of you of your tasks for the day, not only does it lessen your anxiety and helps prevent you from becoming overweight, it keeps you organized knowing that you have time to tackle these topics. When you make a schedule, you have to be practical because only you know how your mind works and how you work. When you alone know what you can accomplish. So when I made my schedule, I always made sure that I had extra allotted days to go through my backlogs. And if I didn't have any backlogs, then I would dedicate that time to rest and relaxation or I would get ahead on other topics and just, just check them off the list. Number two is to be reminded of quality over quantity. I was once a victim of quantity over quality because I felt unaccomplished if I didn't get through my readings even though I know I didn't really absorb anything. My PLE journey taught me that it isn't effective in the long run and it really isn't effective in the long run when you're starting out in medical school, which I should have known better. Sure, I went through my readings, but do I remember what I read? You probably already knew that quality is better than quantity. And for me, it was just hard to rewire my brain knowing that it's okay if I didn't finish my readings as long as I absorb something. Number three is to have an outlet and to get enough rest. We all know that when you're sleep deprived, it negatively affects your mood, thus affecting the way you learn. There are also numerous studies that show how sleep affects your memory. During my review season, when my eyes couldn't take it anymore, I would just stop because I know that's the use of continuing if you know you're going to be unproductive. So drink your water, get some rest, and get some sleep. Days on days of eat, sleep, rest, and repeat will burn you out. Having an outlet to release all that stress is the recharge you need to get through the PLE season. What I did during my PLE season, since I reviewed for around two and a half months, the first one and a half months, I had at least one physical fitness activity a day. And it was like my reward for you know going at it every day and reviewing hard and trying to be focused. And then on my last month, I had like only less than five classes of my, of my fitness activities uh, to actually just focus on the PLE and taking all of my sample exams. Number four is to take practice tests and number five is to keep your review uh, materials at a minimum. So when you take your practice tests, you know that you can gauge where you're at and what you need to focus on and it'll help you get better with test taking skills. And number five, keeping your review materials to a minimum will help you from becoming overwhelmed from all of the resources out there. If you're in a review center, those materials should be enough, especially if you go to a review center where uh, the majority attend. Number six is to have an accountability buddy. Well, so what gave me comfort during the review season is knowing that I had friends who are going through the same struggle I am. We would review together on Discord and we're getting through enough readings and we see each other and motivate each other and send each other inspirational quotes to get through the day. This really helped me because it made me feel like I wasn't alone in this journey and I know none of us are. And number seven is to believe in yourself. You know yourself better than anyone else. Your strengths, your weaknesses, and your capabilities. Confidence will get you places, trust me. If you manifest your goal and put in the effort to achieve that, then you will definitely pass. Was I ready when I took the PLE? The answer is no. When I took my practice exams with the review center I was enrolled in, I was in the lower percentile with a red mark for my midterm exam and my final exam. And even before these exams, two months before the PLE, I remember calling my mom, telling her, I don't know anything. I was crying because I wasn't sure if I was gonna continue taking the PLE and I just felt stupid. But honestly, you have to have confidence in yourself because the answers are really in you somehow. Again, a few days before the PLE, my final exam had a red mark and I remember messaging my sisters, telling them, I don't know if I wanna continue anymore. But a quote that helped me get through the PLE season that I happened to stumble upon was a quote from Lewis Carroll and it read, We only regret the chances we didn't take. And I felt in my heart that I owed it to myself for reviewing for two and a half months that I should at least try and take the PLE. I should at least try no matter the outcome. Was I ready? No. But any senior that you will ask, they would say the same thing. You will never be ready for the PLE but it's up to you to trust yourself, to trust your gut, 
and to have confidence in yourself that you know you will pass. And even if you don't pass, it's not the end of the world. You can always take it again. The PLE encompasses all subjects from first year to fourth year, and it really is hard. So it really is up to you to take that risk. Thank you guys for watching, and I just want to say that I am back, hopefully, to be making videos for this year. I have a couple of videos lined up, but then we'll see how it goes. If hopefully, I can stay consistent. <laughs> So I hope this um, video helped you out and if you'd like a copy of my review schedule and if you have any questions or would like any tips regarding anything about the PLE, you can message me on Instagram. So thank you guys and bye!